Huh. Now that I think about it, the mainline Valve games all end at 2. You got like Dota 2, Half-Life 2, Team Fortress 2, and now we've got Counter-Strike 2. They're just obsessed with 2s. After weeks of trolling and teasing, Valve has officially announced Counter-Strike 2, and boy does it look phenomenal. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Push to Talk, the series where I, Lewis, talk about particular topics in and around the gaming sphere to help keep you guys in the loop. I hope you guys noticed that I have a new microphone, so I should be sounding crisper than usual. But yes, Counter-Strike 2, or CS2 as it will commonly be referred to as. The tactical FPS community has been ecstatic ever since data miners found drivers referring to CSGO S2 and CS2 in Nvidia's latest driver update. That was about three weeks ago and we were told that we would hear about CS2 within the next month or so. Come yesterday, people are proclaiming that the Valorant killer has finally arrived even though Valorant is not even three years old yet. But we'll get into that later. Before we do, make sure to like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content just like this, and obviously ding dong that notification bell to be notified when we upload next because we upload videos every single week. I'd also like to note that yet again, we are going to be streaming Diablo 4 this weekend with the new classes being implemented in the new beta. So do make sure to give us a follow over on Twitch, which you can find down in the description below. And to know which times we're going to be live, then do make sure to follow us on our socials. And now let's talk some Counter-Strike 2. Alright, like all good stories, let's start at the beginning. So yes, as I mentioned, about three weeks ago, data miners found an NVIDIA driver referring to CSGO, S2, and CS2. For those of you who are familiar, then you'll know that this is in reference to Counter-Strike and CSGO, eventually making the move over to Source 2. Source 2 being the game engine that Valve pretty much uses for all of their games now. For the longest time, CSGO was on Source 1, with a couple of assets here and there that were done in Source 2 but was never really fully transitioned. Everyone knew it was going to happen eventually, but it was just a question of when, until the point where it just kind of became a meme. And in the case of the data miners, although it was somewhat more believable, everyone did still kind of meme it. That was until Richard Lewis, an extremely esteemed esports journalist, came out and said that CS2 is indeed coming and is coming very, very soon. So we just had to sit and wait and speculate. During that time, Valve was radio silent, with the only teaser really being them changing their Twitter banner, which we now know is the new CS2 logo. But finally, after long last, Valve finally announced Counter-Strike 2 yesterday. So let's talk about the changes that they confirmed in the announcement. The most notable and the most mind-boggling one as well, the smokes. The smokes are awesome. The way that they have engined smokes to act like actual real-life smoke is incredible. It will physically and visually change the way the game is played entirely. You see, smokes now have the ability to interact with elements in-game, shaping around objects. I think that the most mind-blowing thing that we got to see in this announcement was the fact that these new smokes shape around bullets and completely dissipate with hand grenades. The way I like to think about it is kind of like a rock, paper, scissors kind of situation between Molotovs, smokes, and HE grenades. Smokes neutralize Molotovs and HE grenades neutralize smokes. Now smokes will seep out of open doorways and broken windows, go up and down stairs, as well as expand in long corridors and combine with other smokes. And that's kind of really it for the smokes. There's not a lot to go off of, but it's still amazing to see. Okay, let's move on to the next section of the announcement. Tick rate. In case you don't know, tick rate determines how many times a server refreshes within a certain period of time. So a higher tick rate value would more accurately track the actions of players in game. In a game that is literally defined by milliseconds like Counter-Strike, tick rate, as you can imagine, is incredibly important. The tick rate that your usual CSGO servers tend to run at is around 64Hz, but that can lead to a lot of inconsistencies. A common way around this was to use third-party matchmaking apps like Faceit or ESEA, which usually run at 128 tick. In Counter-Strike 2, however, there is a new sub-tick architecture that supposedly negates the importance of tick rate entirely. Within this sub-tick architecture, actions like shooting, moving, and throwing will be tracked independently ensuring that these actions will always be responsive and land the same way for all players on the server. But this will mean that any nade lineups that you may have learned in Valve official servers will no longer work as they used to run on 64Hz and these new ones will be running at 128 Next up, one question we've all had is whether or not the visuals will be upgraded or not. There will be a visual upgrade. 
a significant one at that. Each and every map has been rebuilt from the ground up, all in higher res and brighter colors, leveraging all of the new Source 2 tools and rendering features. All elements in the new maps utilize a physical base rendering system that produces realistic materials, lighting, and reflections. So all in all, everything just looks gorgeous. These new Source 2 tools and rendering features will make it extremely easy for community map makers to, well, do the thing and make maps. Which again is really good news as CS has a massive map making community. The visual effects have also received a massive upgrade, with bullet impacts being a lot more visible at range, as well as directional blood impacts which fade over time, along with much much more. The UI has also been overhauled to look a lot more modern. I think my favourite part from the new UI is when you get a kill, your kills stack up like cards on the bottom of your screen. They've also reworked and rebalanced how audio works in the game, which I think we'll have to wait and see because I don't think that was something that was in dire need of fixing. Oh yeah, and you can now see your legs, feet, and shadow. Something to note as well, in a now deleted tweet, Valve also mentioned that there was a bind to remove silencers from guns. What that essentially meant was that you could finally unbind your right click to undo your silencers on the M4A1S and the USPS. So goodbye to the days of clutch scenarios where you fat finger your right click. Chat, no way! It's real! <laughs> they fucking did it, bro! Oh! Oh my god, it's real, dude! No way! But the thing that I believe that everybody has been the most curious about... Skins. Will they carry over, or will they not? The answer is yes. Yes, they will. On the official Counter-Strike 2 website, it states, Bring your entire CSGO inventory with you to Counter-Strike 2. Not only will you keep every item you've collected over the years, but they'll all benefit from Source 2's lighting and materials. In addition to supporting legacy models and finishes, all stock weapons have been upgraded with high resolution models, and some weapon finishes take advantage of these new models. Not entirely sure what that last part meant, but yes, you don't have to worry, your entire skin collection is safe. With this announcement, CS2 is actually undergoing playtesting right now. Unfortunately, the playtest is limited to very few people of a certain undisclosed criteria. I think it's safe to say that eligibility for the playtest is kind of depending on whether or not you were loyal or active throughout these last three years. But don't worry, if you do want to watch some of the gameplay live, then you can literally just go on Twitch or YouTube and just watch any big old streamer. Now you may be asking yourself, how exactly is this transition going to work? Is it going to be a new game entirely or is it going to be just an update? Well, yes, kind of. Think of it like Overwatch 2 because it's literally just going to be a watch 2. When Counter-Strike 2 does drop this summer, which it, it's dropping this summer, expect an extremely large update, which will just overhaul the entire game's branding. That obviously begs the question, will you be able to play CSGO after Counter-Strike 2 has been released? Probably not, unfortunately, but I don't think you'll need to. It's essentially the same game with a couple tweaks here and there. Yes, the entire code behind the game has been completely redone, but it's meant to play almost exactly the same, if not better than CSGO. So there shouldn't be a need or want for you to actually want to play an older, shittier version of the game. Obviously, there is a chance that CS2 will be worse than CSGO, but I think the thing you need to understand is that CS2 is running on Source 2 and will be a lot more easier to fix than CSGO. So yes, touch wood, it is possible for CS2 to be worse, but even if it is, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Another thing that people have been proclaiming is that this will be the Valorant killer. I just don't think that's the case though. I don't get why it's so hard for people to kind of grasp the idea that Counter-Strike and Valorant can coexist kind of like how Dota 2 and League of Legends have for years. It's either you play one or you play the other, or you play both, you f***ing psychopath. Because at the end of the day, they're two very different games. One is a realistic tax shooter and the other is a cartoony mobile-like tax shooter. While fundamentally similar, yes, they cater to very different demographics. So I thoroughly believe that neither will outdo the other significantly. There are still a lot of questions left unanswered, but for the time being, I am satisfied with the information that we've gotten so far. Plus, there's still plenty of time till release, and I'm sure that Valve will be more than happy to share some of that information as time goes by. My main concern is, 
the eSport, how exactly will they transition? We know for a fact that tournament organizers and eSports organizations have all been in on CS2 getting released, so they're very well aware of when it's going to happen, so I'm sure that they've planned around this. But my main concern kind of falls onto the players themselves. Will we see some Valorant players return to CS? Will this revitalize the North American CS scene? What about the rare occasions when players don't transition well between games? We've seen this a handful of times with 1.6 players going into Source. Are esports orgs willing to take that risk when it comes to certain players? Will they even care? Again, only time will tell. And that's it for Counter Strike 2. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Are you guys looking forward to it? Do you guys get access to the playtest? Do you guys think this is going to be a Valorant killer? I don't f know. If there's anything else you would like me to discuss as well, then obviously comment section down below. Don't forget, we are going to be streaming the new Diablo classes this weekend, so be sure to check our social medias for that and obviously follow us on our Twitch. And again, if you did enjoy this video, then be sure to like, subscribe if you want to see more content just like this, and obviously ding along that notification bell to be notified when we upload next because we upload videos every single week. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Lewis from Kakuto Parade, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao for now. Up and out. They're going to fill the space. And with these, if you throw a HE into it, you can clear the smoke temporarily with a nade. Yeah, and we'll you can shoot bullets. Yeah. But did you actually try this? Yeah, yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I don't believe it. I can show <laughs> you, man. Oh, fuck this. What do you <laughs> mean, <laughs> man? We're not yeah. trying.